What if you walked into a room with 23 people? What's the probability that two share the same birthday? You might think that it's just an incredible coincidence, but share this mathematical fact you're about to learn at your work parties and events, and you just might get promoted. Welcome to the birthday paradox, one of probability's most interesting revelations. Here's why. With 365 possible birthdays, overlaps seem unlikely in small groups. But the magic lies in counting pairs, not individuals. With 23 people, you're comparing 253 different pairs, each a potential match. At 23 people, there's over a 50% chance of a shared birthday. At 30 people, the probability jumps to 70%. At 50 people, you're virtually guaranteed a match at 97%. This counterintuitive result catches everyone off guard. But this isn't just party trivia. The birthday paradox is the backbone of birthday attacks in cryptography. When hackers find two files producing the same hash value, they exploit these exact principles. Hash functions are one-way encryption tools, but the paradox reveals finding collisions becomes surprisingly easy. That's why modern security uses longer, more complex hashes. A 64-bit hash might seem secure, but birthday attack principles mean you'd only need about 5 billion tests to find a collision. Contemporary standards use 256-bit or 512-bit hashes, making attacks computationally infeasible. Probability theory like this shapes the digital world you rely on daily. So here's a question. Does knowing the birthday paradox change how you see coincidences and cybersecurity?